thought it would ever happen. But just like anything else that you think never happens, it does happen. And the Mac got a virus. Um, so I'm going to show you a few things here. Um, chances are you could be infected. Over half a million computers were infected. And so I want to show you this website. It's The link is in the description. f-secure.com uh, gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to remove the virus. Um, and it also helps you know if your computer has been uh, infected. If you have been infected, chances are your passwords may have been stolen. And so here are step-by-step -step instructions. And you'll want to um, launch the terminal. And if you don't know what the terminal is, um, maybe you don't want to use this step here. Um, but if you do, uh, if you, I'll just show you how to find the terminal. Uh, if you go into your applications folder and then you go into your utilities folder, and if you have a lot of apps, just push U. It'll take you right to the U section. Double click that. And then you have all these different apps in here. And down here, terminal. Here you have a little window where you can enter the code and this website here gives you the step-by-step -step code tells you what to do all the way through uh, but like I said if you don't know what you're doing maybe find some find a friend that does and go through it step by step now the other thing that you will want to do is update your OS and apparently the OS update does delete this uh, virus but if you it would be nice to know if you had it before you update but let me show you how to update your computer uh, so you go up to the Apple software update you may already have automatic updates enabled if you don't or if you just want to do it right now which I recommend um, go ahead and go to the Apple and then bring down software update and then what it does is it checks the network it checks Apple to see if it has any updates. This is taking a while here. Go ahead and close this out. And the reason why I haven't updated yet is I just found out about this. So I'm trying to help people out there. But anyway, this what this does, This apparently this malware will go and check your... Um, software to see or your files to see what passwords you may have stored so you'll want to go through and change all your passwords I'll, I'll also give you a technique to change passwords so that you remember them okay so click show details okay so this one obviously doesn't have anything to do with it but this one right here this is the update and it was uh, released on the third and so you want to do just install those items um, and then if you want more information you can click there but that's how you bring up the software update you install those and it apparently takes care of it but you just want to watch what you download on your computer now when you're coming up with passwords um, you want to have alphanumeric passwords but it's hard when if you change your passwords all the time um, to remember it so here's a strategy if you if you think of a password that you have and like let's just say the password is Google so you have Google is your password now I don't recommend that there's a lot of passwords that people use all the time password as a password or one two three four or something dumb like that so what you can do is change uh, so the first one is zero or I mean, first one is O. so G O and then zero and then G L and then instead of uh, e you do three but that's not good enough um, that's kind of a simple thing so then you may want to get into some type of pattern that changes that's not obvious I'll give you an obvious pattern just to show you what I'm talking about so if it's if it's the first quarter of the year you put maybe Q1 or you just do one and then you do um, the year so this is 2012 so there your password is a lot stronger and it can change because obviously as you update it you update it to whenever you have to reset your password so there you have Google in the second quarter if it's 
a quarterly thing where you have to update your password or you can do months so 12 and then obviously this would go to uh, so that's uh, December 2012 but in 2013 then you just reset it to uh, 113 and so that's a way for you to be able to reset your password remember it but it's always different I hope that makes sense and I hope you didn't get infected uh, but if you did these are some helps thanks for watching